All right, one of my buddies sent me this weird 4chan board. Uh, don't really go on the site much, but I heard this strange conspiracy of products being shipped from Wayfair that were super overpriced and supposedly named after children that were missing. Uh, it seemed a little bit weird to me because I figured if something like this actually was going on, it would probably be done through the dark web, but hey, why not? Let's take a look into it and just see if this is a bunch of smoke or if there's something to this. Apologize, this isn't the best recording. I just kind of threw this together quick and dirty. So I'll show you the one that caught my attention. I'll scroll down a bit. And where are we at? Okay, here we go. So I found this post here. It's like a picture from a cell phone. Uh, I think it's pronounced Duplicess, Zodiac Sign, Astrological Constellation, Personalized Throw Pillow. SKU number W00265-3067. All right, whatever. So it's a pillow, but the odd thing is price is like almost 10 grand. I thought this was photoshopped. It seemed kind of ridiculous. I mean, like what, $834 a month for 12 months for a pillow? Either that's a typo, that's a Photoshop. It just seemed kind of stupid to me. But hey, let's take a look and do our due diligence. So the claim was that there was a 13-year-old girl missing from Southfield. Her name is Samara Duplessis. So last known whereabouts, something around May 7th. Okay, so let's just search by the SKU. So we'll pick up the SKU, copy it, and then where is Google? All right, we'll just paste the SKU into Google. No. Okay, so here it is. And first thing I saw, 3249. All right, so it's been Photoshopped, right? So it's been debunked. Not exactly. This is where it gets kind of strange. So first I click on it. Just thought I would check it out. Yeah, 32 bucks. This is the pillow. That's the picture I saw. And uh, Michelle, right? So this exact same pillow is what I saw here on this 4chan deal. The only thing off, obviously, is this 10 grand price. So going back, what I did was take the path, take off that PID part, just cut this, and then we'll go to the Internet Wayback Machine. And what we'll do is we'll paste this, and we'll browse the history. And what we're looking for is any cached versions of the site. So 2020, that's what we're looking for. And it looks like the only cached version is from the 11th and the 10th. So we'll start off with the most recent one. That's today. And then when we take a look at it, we'll see on the page. Scroll down. Okay, so there it is, 32.49. So that checks out. But if we go back and we take a look at the date of the 10th, Load it. Here we go. A nine. Come on. A nine grand. Uh, yeah. And then it breaks. Right. Reach out to their support. So 10 G pillow. You saw that. That was messed up. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Why would you sell a pillow for ten thousand dollars on Wayfair? You might be able to talk out the cabinets and I don't know, maybe they've got some industrial type strength there. But try to tell me that a pillow is going to sell for nine grand. I don't buy it. So then I started to look into the other ones. So let's see here. OK, let's take a look at another one. So Samya Moomin. So then that's this young lady here. Columbus, Ohio, 17 years old, missing. Missing as of April the 30th from Columbus, Ohio. So first off, we'll go back to Google again. Paste the name. Okay, and what was it? We'll take this out and put five shelf. Okay, so there it is. There's the listing. So yeah, there clearly was a cabinet listed with this name. However, when you click on it, it takes you nowhere. Now, I tried this one on the Wayback Machine, but there's no there's no post for this. There's no archived version. So unfortunately, I can't see a snapshot like I could with the previous one. But I will point this out. This cabinet, I can still find it, and I can still find its price. If I go to Bing, which is not as popular... So here I'm at Bing, and let's do the same thing. Let's go Bing, five, shelf, bingo. Here we go. $24,000 for a cabinet. Like maybe I don't know the value of a storage shelf. So I've got a nine grand pillow, or sorry, 10 grand pillow. Then I've got a $24,000 storage cabinet. This is getting really sketchy. I mean, I'm sure you could come up with some kind of a logical explanation, but really it's kind of, I'm dumbfounded right now. So then if I take a look over here, Actually, let's go back. You can obviously tell I'm doing this live. This is not edited. It's just quick and dirty. Let's take a look. Here we go. 
Okay, that's what I wanted. So if you look at this tab right here, you can see here's some other storage cabinets. It just took me to like a central listing of cabinets. So the page itself is gone. It's not like they updated the price like with the pillow. But look at the prices of these. $100, $295, $300. So what's the most expensive cabinet we can find here? 500 okay, there's a $500 cabinet. Three, this one looks very similar to the one that, here, let's actually take a look, let's compare. So let's look on this pole. Scroll the top here. Okay, so this is this $12,000 cabinet and we did find it. It's actually 24,000, must be the difference between the Canadian American dollar. But going back, so here it is. That looks a lot like this. So I don't understand. What's the difference between the cabinet that's $24,000 and this cabinet? Maybe I just don't know the cost of good materials. This is really sketchy. Okay, so none of these cabinets are over, I mean, do we even have a thousand? No, 800. And that's not even a cabinet. So the most expensive cabinet is around like $500. This, I don't know. Yeah, this is really sketchy. So we have no cabinets that are $1,000 yet. We have this one cabinet that sells for $24,000. I'd really like to know what makes this, what are the dimensions? 84 height, 1896. So let's take a look. What are some of the dimensions of these other cabinets? This one looks comparable. No. Okay, 36 by 18 by 72. 36 by 18 by 72. 84 by 18 by 96. Okay, this one is significantly larger, but 24 grand, I don't know about that. After seeing, like I said, the 10 grand pillow, I'm a little bit more open to some of these, you know, speculations here. Because I can't, I can explain maybe the storage shelf but i cannot put any explanation towards a ten thousand dollar pillow that's just messed up okay and the fact they changed the price right how did you what you accidentally keyed in it was ten thousand then switched it to thirty two dollars then we'll go and we'll take a look at another one let's take a look at yaritza storage cabinet so then we have another missing child here yaritza castro now look at the date here 6 10 2020 age now 16 so that was what like that was a month ago in a day approximately so then same thing we'll use bing because bing doesn't seem to delete everything and again 25,000 24,000 i mean these cabinets are extremely high priced maybe i just don't know their value that's possible but again that pillow is the one that really it's weird the pillow's weird the cabinets, I can't say, if you're someone who's a good cabinet shopper, maybe you can critique this video. I'm not going to sit here and claim that these cabinets are children just yet, but the pillow, that one is really weird and bothered me. Uh, let's take a look at the last one. Avlia, okay, so that's this one right here. Okay, so apparently there was another child missing with the name Olivia. Olivia? Olivia, okay. Uh, same thing, super expensive cabinet. I don't know, I couldn't find the missing child post for that, so if you have found it, um yeah you can kind of speak more towards that but if you're trying to look to find the prices they have removed these i mean if you click on any of these it just takes you to you know regular cabinets it won't take you directly to one of the pages so i don't know why they felt any kind of guilt of removing these expensive cabinets if there's no guilt there uh anyways i'm starting to ramble a bit here but you can see that there's something really strange about this don't know what to make of it Again, like I said, the thing that I found the weirdest was this strange pillow. So just to kind of reiterate, if we go here, scroll down on this 4chan page. Here's the pillow, right? There's the SKU. Take the SKU, copy it, go into Google. Paste. Okay, it shows up here, $32.95. We open it, $32.95. We then take the link, cut it, way back machine. Let's jump back up here, paste the link in, look for the archive page. Okay, we have an archive page from 2020. We've got the 11, which we checked. That's that $32 one. We go back to the one on the 10th, which was the day before. And then we have our $9,000 pillow. And oops, something broke. I'm sure it did. So 
definitely something to this. I'm not sure what's going on here. Somebody needs to tell me what the value of a dollar is because I just didn't realize that cabinets were that expensive. All right, one final piece to add here. So we're looking at these $25,000 cabinets. Uh, let's just pick one, Yuritsa, for example. So again, just connecting this, right? The name matches. Coincidence, maybe, but let's just take a look. So here's our cabinet. We click it, takes us to this generic page, which just shows a bunch of cabinets. The one thing I forgot to do was, let's look at the prices. I want to find the most expensive cabinet on here. So I'll drop this down. I'll say $2,500 and above. Above, I would assume, goes to $25,000, right? So, or sorry, $2,500 and above, not $25,000. So I'm assuming if I select this option here, I should see the most expensive cabinets on the site. I'll scroll down to the bottom here. Let's put 96 items a page. Okay. And we'll scroll back up to the top. And let's sort this by... I want to see the most expensive. So what's this? 19,000 storage cabinet. Okay. So I can find this plain file, plain file, plain file. Most expensive one is 19. It looks like they took these all down. So all these strange cabinets that seem to show up on Bing here, they've all ripped them down. Why? I don't know. Like, why aren't they showing up now? Let's go back here. So yeah, 19 is the most expensive. And if we go down, it just kind of drops. I mean, look at the fireproof one is 7,000. How big is that? Uh, what's your specs here? Specifications, weight and dimensions. 72, 36, 19. Um, how do we get the other one? Yeah, I was like that. Seven, so 84, 18, 96 compared to 72. 30, okay, so this should be comparable. And it's fire resistant. So this is just, this doesn't make any sense. Anyways, that's the conclusion to this. I just wanted to make sure that I actually checked to see what's the most expensive cabinet on here. And it looks like all these super overpriced cabinets all kind of magically disappeared after people started looking into this. So not looking good here.